Welcome to Discovering. On tonight's show is some of the most fun I've had filming all winter long. If you think ice fishing is boring, you've never been to the kids' fish coop in Curtis. Zero chance to escape. The big fish <laughs> So sit back and relax. It's Monday night, and it's time for Upper Michigan's very own Discovering. The secret streams that flow beneath the cliffs of colored stone. Forest thick and healthy with birch and pine and oak. Surrounded by the greatest lakes this world has ever known. The black bear's awesome presence as he roams the hills and fields. Call of the timber wolf, the loon's lonesome trill. The eagle soaring high above, the trout lies deep and still. These are what I treasure. The only way I measure feelings that I have for this fine land. There is so much to discover when your longtime lover of northern Michigan. It's a cold and sunny morning on South Manistee Lake in the small town of Curtis. I'm here for a day of ice fishing, but it's no ordinary day of ice fishing. The Curtis Lions Kids Fish Coop is back after a 10 to 15 year long hiatus. I'm back and I love it. <laughs> the ringleader of this event is Dan Duberville, who started it many years ago. So many, he doesn't even remember when. I ran it for six years. I don't remember, it's been so long. And it was originally called Dan's Fish Coop. I just noticed we had a winter carnival here, but there was nothing to do for children. It was a kind of an adult thing. And me liking children, I have 15 or 17 grandchildren. You got to have something for children. <laughs> the Curtis community came together to make it happen and bring the event back. It took a lot of sponsors to donate money and prizes and a lot of volunteer hours to get this day planned and set up. One of those volunteers is a familiar face to the show, John Ron, a fishing guide in the awesome. Curtis area. John remembers the fish coop when he and his brother Nathan, who is also helping today, were kids. 10 to 15 years ago we had it and then uh, it just kind of went away. So this year a bunch of us just decided to bring it back. So yeah, it was a great memory from, from our childhood for sure. We'd be here all day. And this is my little brother and sister right here. They've been here all day with me, so. The goal is to make the event fun and easy for kids to catch fish in hopes of hooking them into a lifetime of ice fishing. <laughs> to make it easy, over 1,000 rainbow trout are dumped into four to five feet of water in a 50 by 50 foot cage under the ice. To put the pen in, we took a chainsaw and cut a oval in the ice and then we had like 40, 50 people from town come out one day and we just set the net into the ice at the same time. We just kind of set it in the slot that we made with the chainsaws. And so we put it, pushed it down into the sand a little bit so the fish couldn't dig underneath it. Prior to stocking the coop, Michigan State Police divers swam the perimeter of the fence to check for gaps that could allow all these expensive fish to escape. We bought about a thousand fish for like just a little over 10 grand. So it was like around 10 bucks a fish. Looking at the size of these rainbows that were dumped into the coop, these kids are going to have a blast. They're anywhere from 12 to 20 inches. The trout came from a private hatchery downstate and had to be certified sterile since they are not native to South Manistee Lake. And there are even gold rainbow trout that are worth prize money. There was even a flying fish. Dan built a massive fish pinata full of candy and toys for the kids. I don't know how I built it. It's wood and cedar and um, 80 pounds of white flour and uh, newspapers. Yeah. 
This winter has been a challenging one with a lack of snow and warm temperatures. When they dumped the fish, there was plenty of ice inside the pen. The morning of the event, there were only one to two inches of ice inside the coop. Ice everywhere else was fine. Our thought is that the heat and turbulence of 1,000 plus fish swimming in a circle eroded the ice above them. In past years, this was never a problem, but in past years, there was a lot more ice. With a youper make-do attitude, the show must go on and the crew improvised. They cut holes along the inside perimeter of the coop and had kids fish from outside the coop as long as it stayed safe. And the ice did hold up. Good thing the morning was in the single digits. Get him, get him, get him! Right away at 9 a.m., the kids were lined up and ready to go fishing. And volunteers ready to help them land those fish topside, remove, and bait hooks. All right, go ahead. We need 16. We got one, two. Every, every kid's gonna buy a ticket and then they're gonna come in and fish. And then the other half of their ticket goes in a bucket. At the end of the day, 16 or 20 names will get drawn out of that bucket and then them with the kids in the fish off. And then that's how they win the bigger, the biggest prizes, like the paddle boards and big ice augers and vexlars, all that stuff. As soon as you put that in there, there's going to be a fish, get it? Because there's a thousand fish down here. And it could be this day. Go, fish, get them, get them. I'd say that first fish was caught within seconds. I get a high five? <laughs> awesome job. Congrats. Awesome. First fish. <laughs> oh. Normally, I try to stay quiet behind the camera, but this was way too much. There were fish flying out of holes, flopping all over, kids screaming in excitement. I got the same as him! And I couldn't help but laugh the entire day. There were smiles from ear to ear on both the kids and the parents. Are you gonna catch a big fish? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I got a big fishy. <laughs> 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 big fishy. There it is. There it is. Oh, we missed him. Oh, oh that's a nice one. Come on, get him out of there. Look, look there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, you see? We got a fish. Papa's got it too. Oh, he came off. All right. Hold him. Oh boy. Was that fun? Yeah. That's a nice one. How did How did do it again? Good. Good. Just hold on, and when you feel the fish, just. Bring the tip right up like this, okay? Two hands. Prizes were handed out throughout the day. Anyone that catches a fish gets a free lure. So much fun. The first prize given away was an ice fishing hub won by this little girl. I did it! You did it! So nice you job! Eat for dinner. Yeah. That's the best part. Get him out of here! Get him out of here! Oh! Nice, buddy! Give me five! Yeah! Big, big one. There we go! Good job, dude. Get a high five. <laughs> if this event doesn't hook kids into fishing, I don't know what will. Good job. Come on,
Okay, nice. I'm not I'm not holding that. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a kiss. You give it a kiss. You caught your fish. There you go. Good kiss. Who's got the fish? Russell did. All right. Got him. He's slippery. Eight, four. That's the big one. Back up. Back up. My favorite reaction of the day was this little girl. <laughs> <laughs> awesome fish! Want a picture with it now? Fish win? Good job. Way to go. Uh oh. Take your corn on. Put corn on. Okay, good. Oh, that's oh. The weather turned in the afternoon and it was snowing and blowing, but that didn't bother too many kids. We need another five minutes. A front's coming in, the fish are gonna bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a bite! Oh! That's what I'm talking about. Ah! Fish on! At the end of the day, 16 tickets were drawn, and those kids participated in the kids' fish off. Each kid got a t-shirt, hat, a fishing pole, and a tackle box. On the line are trophies and prizes adults would be envious of. Uh, there's a $1,500 paddle board, $600 or $700 power auger, um, a $900 underwater camera, a $900 Vexclar fish finder, whatever. $800 flip over ice fishing shanty. Kids try to catch three fish in 30 minutes and total length wins. <laughs> keep, it, keep it away. Get him in the cage. Put him on the The fish were hungry, and I think most kids landed three apiece. Pull, pull, pull. Woo! There you go. Beautiful. Look at this one. Oh. We're going to give that boy. Man, that's I'm fishing. We're gonna say 18 on that. Is that the biggest one yet? I think yep. that's the biggest one nice yet. Good job, Marissa. Job, Marissa. 16. 16. Whoa. 15 and a quarter. The first place winner got his or her choice from the pile of prizes. <laughs> you want the paddle board. Yeah. He's got it. He got it. Bet you got a big hand, big hand. Colton took first place and picked the paddle board. Marissa took second place and picked the underwater camera. What did you get? A back I don't know what that is, but I got it. <laughs> <laughs> is that the trophies? They were all smiles as they claimed their prizes. What did you win? I won fourth place. Nice. And you picked this? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> After the kids fish off, the adults, and some kids, got in the action for the high rollers contest. You buy a ticket for $500 a hole. I sold them all in a week. 
and we're lo looking like a $5,000 payout. $3,000 first prize, $1,500 second prize, and $500 third prize. What? Yeah. <laughs> With this much money on the line, you know it's going to be a good contest. Rules again are... The first two on the ice, you have to keep. From the third fish, they can make the decision, I want to, this one ain't quite big enough. Because it's within an eighth of an inch, you know, total inches. They have 25 minutes. Boy, get him! Oh, that's a <laughs> That's the first two. After I watched Rodney, this is Rodney, catch his first two fish, I knew he was a contender for first place. At least he was definitely the most entertaining. Season them, gotta season that bait. The barber, I didn't like the barber. Oh, okay. Oh, what's the time? What's the time? Oh, we got 15 minutes. You go swim, buddy. Oh. Rodney's all done. Rodney's all done. And Rodney did take home the first place trophy and the cash. And I believe that's his daughter that took home second. It was a fun day and a great turnout. We had 350 buttons that the adults bought and then we're all gone by noon. And I know a lot of people came out after noon, you know, so I'm sure there's at, at least 500 people today, which is pretty cool for a small town like this. Curtis is a small town, big on fishing. Locals now have something else to fish for the rest of the winter. Hundreds of rainbow trout were still swimming in the coop after we left, including all the gold ones and they'll leave them for the locals to fish out. The group hopes this will become an annual event again and plan to make it even better next year. Everything we made today is just gonna get put back into the fund for next year so we can just grow it bigger, you know, bigger and better for next year. Good this year because of all the donations, so hopefully next year we don't have to depend on as many donations and we'll still be able, you know, to we'll be, be just fine. What I would like to see, especially this year, it was a good turnout is hopefully like in the future maybe not even charge the kids at all for the fish and just have all the fish paid for so the kids can just come and catch them. It's about children and most of all for the glory of God. <laughs> and certainly God has blessed this event, let me tell you. From money to helpers to to whatever. And again, it's, it's all good. If anyone is thinking about doing something like this, just get a group of people together and just do it. Like, don't sit there and just say, oh, next year we should, next year we should. Just, you know, get a group together, get it, have someone organize, you know, help organize it and just do it. Like, don't wait. And we started this on a whim. A month ago, we started it. People wanted me to start this back up. Um, so I started it back up. <laughs> Dan Duberville is not only an avid fisherman, he's an artist. He did build a 15-foot fish pinata, after all, and a musician, and he shared part of his fishing song with me. It's called, Ooh, I'm a Fishing Man. And it goes kind of like this. Fish in the grease, fry in the pan, life is good when you're a fishing man. Hear what I say, I'm talking to you, you better get down the lake, you better catch you a few. You know God made the heavens, you know God made the lands, ooh, and he was a making them, oh man, oh man. How about all those rivers, oceans, seas, and lakes? Ooh, and he was a making them, he made no mistakes. Each one is teeming with all those different fish, every size, shape, and color, ooh, none did he miss. I like to be on the water, it might be big or small, but I'm a fishing man at heart, that's why I fish them all. I like to wake up early in the morning, when the lake is calm and still, and I like to throw the surface base waiting for the explosion thrill. Oh, let's talk about the eating. It's fish I'm talking about. The meat is white and tender. Ooh, no bones in sight. And I like to make a lot of extra so I can munch on them all night. Oh, you know, fishing, it gets down into your soul. Sometimes I get it so bad it goes down into my fishing pole. Huh? <laughs> And it just goes on and on about fishing. Two fish. Two fish. 
That's all for tonight, and I hope to see you right back here next week for Upper Michigan's very own Discovering.